Am I the a-hole for refusing to attend an apology dinner after my mother-in-law called me a bad mother at my son's funeral? I lost my son to congenital heart disease and he did not survive the open heart surgery at the age of one year and six months. He was the greatest blessing I had in my life. Everyone kept telling me things will get easier with time. I know that no matter how much time goes by I'll still be missing my baby and everything sweet about him. Mother-in-law and I were in constant conflict. Things always been bad between us but in those months we reached our limit. She kept getting involved in my son's treatment, and criticized every decision I made claiming I didn't know how to handle my son's illness. We went low contact but she kept causing issues occasionally. My husband was torn between our son's illness and his mother's issues. When my son passed away she came to the funeral and caused a scene by arguing with me knowing I had no energy for it. She used the fact that everyone was there so she could say it was my fault my son was born sick and I didn't take care of him properly, that I didn't listen to her when suggested other ways to treat his condition. And that I was the one who took their grandchild away from them and caused them heartache. She then loudly called me a bad mother I had no idea how I kept my composure and kept standing on both feet. My mom and sisters responded by telling her to leave. My husband was sitting down crying. She then went to tell everyone I kicked her out as a way to hurt her further and lied that I convinced my husband to ban her from visiting her grandson's grave. My husband later sent his side of family an email talking about my mother-in-law's behavior during and after our son's illness and telling them he no longer will be seeing her. That had the family criticizing us saying mother-in-law was just trying to do what was best for her grandbaby and called us selfish for assuming we're the only ones struggling with this tragedy. We haven't seen his mom in one year and eight months. I'm now three months pregnant. No one knew only my sister-in-law, brother-in-law's wife, but word got out. Though we told her not to say anything. Week later I had family members saying I was invited to a dinner hosted by mother-in-law so she could both apologize in front of the whole family and settle this issue before the baby is born. They said mother-in-law was regretful, and offered to financially provide for her grandbaby and they want to see that. I refuse but my husband surprisingly wants me to go. I had his grandparents calling me telling me that I'm a person with a good heart and forgiveness is something I'm capable of giving. I told them I'll never be sitting at the same table with a person who called me a bad mother at my child's funeral. I still remember it vividly till this very day. My sister said this change of heart from mother-in-law is probably for the new baby. It could be but I insisted I won't come. They're saying I'm making hard for everyone to move on and pass this unresolved pain and should really go.